Welcome back to Mount Glen Farm. Today we're going to be making a simple and quick heat lamp corner for piglets. Now years ago I had a 14 sow farrowing operation that I did year round and had quite the infrastructure. Since then I've actually moved farms and have moved into the grazing pig breed as you can see here. Two of these sows actually farrowed last week have week old piglets and it's late November here in Virginia so it's getting a little chilly. So let's get these guys all snuggled in. Hey folks, and welcome back to Mountain Glen Farm. It's November 23rd, 2022, and I'm here in the pig nursery. I'm attempting to work on a project here, so let me spin you around. Here's Mama. She's got eight beautiful little piggies that were born about a week ago. And this was the corner that I put all their hay in so that they would kind of nest in this corner. I had a heat lamp that was hanging out there. Um, old school style heat lamp. Don't really like these. I've had these in the past, and Mamas love to eat them. So, not technically eat them, but they destroy them. That was the second one she destroyed. So, what I'm attempting to do is upgrade her corner to, like, what's next door. Mama, to stall number two, you can see that she has an upgraded heat lamp. It's actually Premier One. I think it's called a Prima heat lamp. Not cheap, but so worth it, I think, so far in terms of just safety um, with these heat lamps. And I put a 28 tall by 40 inches across um, hog panel that I cut with a sawzall and just nailed it with staples on um, the corners here. And I will go over the heat lamp that I purchased here in a little bit. So let's attempt to duplicate this in stall number two. So that. So essentially first what I did was I got a hog panel that I just had kind of laying around and measured it 28 tall by 40 long. That's just the measurement that worked best in that corner. I took the Zalzo and very, very carefully cut it to proportion. So next I distracted mom with some feed and I went in there with all my supplies, took down the old heat lamp and I actually went to the other side, measured how tall it was. It's about 14, 15 inches off the ground. And then just kind of eyeballed where I wanted it to go. And I started stapling in um, some staples on the very bottom corners first to make some start holes. And then I took the drill to actually make true guide holes into the boards because this is oak and it's super hard to nail into. And then I did that three times on each side. So each side has three staples into it. And then, uh, yeah, it looks good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox. I think I got the guard up in that one corner. Here's the second, I ordered two heat lamps. Um, again, both from Premier One Farm Supply. And this is the second heat lamp I got. So first it comes wrap the guard. So unwrap that. Now here's the actual main heat lamp component. Uh, there's no bulb in it, but I did order the set where you do get a bulb width. You can order it with or without a bulb. I went ahead and got one, luckily enough for me, because my sow ended up eating the first one. So I got a heat lamp uh, bulb with it. There's the Prima heat lamp instructions, which are pretty straightforward. We'll go over those in a second. And then your, your uh, cord, power cord here. So, again, it's pretty easy with the parts we have. I will read the instructions even though it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's in English and Spanish. And essentially it's just four very simple steps. Uh, step one is to put your bulb in. Again, I ordered a bulb from them. This one is a um, 250 watt. Um, I didn't want the red color, so I just went with the clear. So again, these heat lamps are made of pretty hardcore plastic. It's pretty heavy duty. Um, even the guard is very heavy duty plastic. Like you can't, there's no moving this plastic at all. So step one is to screw your bulb into the actual component of the heat lamp. It's nice and snug. Step two is to put the uh, covering on. There's these little slats all around the inside which obviously correspond with slats that 
are in the inside of this. I found with the first one you do need a, a little bit of force, but essentially it fits down in there pretty good. And you need to, I put it up to my legs last time, and uh, turn it. Just double check to make sure all the little uh, lips caught, which they did. So essentially that's it for the main component. Now we'll go ahead and take um, the power cord and attach that. And on the one end is the cord that attaches to the heat lamp component. And then as you can see, the first like two feet has this metal spiral casing kind of on it to help protect it a little more. This cord, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I don't really know what you guys are looking at here. Um, here we go, if I can get it there. Actually has like a screw top here and you just fit it in um, to the top. So as you can see, again, for anyone who's using these heat lamps, this is pretty, pretty darn easy. It's probably as easy as you can get. So go ahead and slip it in, tighten the screw until it's nice and tight. And that's essentially it. So uh, let's go hang this thing up, turn it on, and make sure that it works properly. So I prefer to use a chain to hang this heat lamp up with, but I don't have one at the moment. So I'm just doing the best I can with what I got. Um, I'm going to try to keep this cord nice and wrapped up out of the way with those little twist ties that it came with. So, essentially what I did on the other side was just hang it up about the same level that this ended up being. This is about 14, 15 inches tall from the ground. I, I just, I don't know, that just seemed like a good height to me with the, the piglets running back and forth and mom can maybe put her little head there, but not so much so that she can rip this out. But this thing is in there pretty good with just these little uh, staples I put in there. nail here so I'm just going to go ahead and use a twist tie so I can keep this cord nice and wrapped up clean and tidy. And hang it right there out of everyone's way. I also like to keep them uh, pretty taut with the amount of cable that's there. Um, just in case if mama does end up getting up there and reaching it and pulling it, I want the heat lamp to either pull away from the socket uh, and disconnect so that it's not just left laying on the ground next to a big patch of, of hay, which is, I'm always terrified of hay getting caught fire. 
they've kind of broken down the bedding that I had in here for them, so it's kind of matted down um, into fine little pieces at this point, so it's not as much of an issue, but uh, it's always something to definitely consider, because heat lamps are, are, they can be pretty, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't have them set up correctly. So anyways, hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna grab you real fast so that we can do a detailed look here since mama is distracted. So again, whoops, watch out mama, be careful. They do get stepped on sometimes when they're in the way. So essentially again, what we have here is just a hog panel. It's 40 across, 28 high. Um, and I, once again, I just used fencing staples here to uh, keep them intact. What you might have seen me do was I drilled holes um, so that I could drive these staples in because this is an old bank barn and all this is oak wood and is very, very strong and sturdy and very tough to get nails into. Um, because there was a little bit of up and down play because I put some of the staples underneath these uh, horizontal brackets, I put one on top here. so. Even if she tried to root it up and down, it's not going anywhere. Again, just hung it from a piece of twine here. It's already feeling nice and, actually it's not even warm yet on the outside, but it is nice and warm down here. So again, there's about 15 inches of clearance here, which I think is a good amount. Um, close enough that they can feel the heat, but not too close that something is gonna get caught on fire, because essentially that's just fire starter there. Um, and then I have all the cables and cords secure on nails out of the way. Mama Pig should not be able to touch those at all. If by chance they do, the cord is tight enough that it should rip out of the, the socket and terminal. And here's the instruction man manual for the heat lamp that I got against Premier One uh, Supplies. I believe it's PremierOneSupplies.com. There it is at the bottom. This is the Prima heat lamp. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying it. I've used, I've used, let's see, these style heat lamps um, forever. Just uh, decided to upgrade because these, I just, they, they don't help me sleep at night. <laughs> I'm always, uh, I'm always terrified at night uh, thinking of looking down here in the barn and seeing it smoke eater on fire and it just, uh, doesn't help me sleep. So anyways, that's what it looks like now. Way better than it was before. Nice and secure. Feel much better about the situation. So here's the little ones enjoying their heat lamp. Um, they're actually not directly underneath of it. I know, Mama. They're kind of off to one side, actually. So that means that they're plenty warm with that heat lamp. Kind of from the bottom to the top of where the heat lamp... Oh, hello! Is about 14, 15 inches. So it's not super close to the ground. Um, but just enough that they are nice and toasty on these cold winter days. Lowering the new heat lamp in the corner here. If they stand on each other's backs, they can they can touch it. So we might uh, we might adjust that here up just a couple more inches. It's about 15 inches now, um, but we'll see. We'll we'll kind of sit back and see what these guys do. But they're definitely loving their little corner. All right, folks, that does it for me tonight. Uh, I got, I'm so glad I got that done, and the little piggies are all set to go for the next couple of weeks in this cold weather coming in. Hopefully I gave you guys some things to think about and and uh, was able to showcase the, uh, the Premier One Prima heat lamp, which I feel really, really good about. And uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and until next time, folks, happy grazing.